Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. This series is going by so well. Um, and we have 715 gold. And this is because I was able to earn 400 off camera. Um, doing so uh, by getting Rogue to level 10 got me 100 coins. And then also I won my 100th win. Um, and that got me 300 coins. And if if I can figure out how to edit this in, I will post the screenshot that I took when I got it. Um, but yes, getting 100 total wins got me 300 coins, which is kind of crazy because in Arena we have 6 wins, Play Mode we have total of 14 wins, which means I've won 80 offline games. That is ridiculous. Getting everything to level 10 took about 80 games. That is crazy. Oh man. Well, you guys know what's happening, but with 715 gold, I'm going to have to crack open at least one pack. Um, 715 gold is what I would guess to be almost two wings of Curse of Naxxramas. So I think... I think I'm gonna buy one pack. I'm fe I'm feeling good about this pack. I'm feeling good. Oh man. Okay. Gotta get lucky on this pack. This is gonna be the one pack that we open this episode. We haven't got anything great. We've got one epic card. I think we've got one pack with two rares in it. I want a golden card. I want a legendary card. I just want something to make a sick deck out of. Let's do this. Oh, the Black Temple card backs are sweet with this. Okay, common. Rare, that's a good sign. Common. Common. And common. <laughs> Dang it! I want a good card. Power of the Wild's good in a Druid deck, but I don't want to make a Druid. Unleash the Hounds is actually essential right now in our Hunter deck, so I am really happy we got that. Raging Worgen is good. That could actually make our way into, or make its way into our Warrior deck. Freezing Trap for the Hunter is okay, but, and our rare card is going to be Bloodsail Corsair, which is absolutely useless. No golden cards, no legendaries. I may have to crack open another one soon. Power of the Wild will keep. I'm not going to disenchant that. I'll keep Freezing Trap and Unleash the Hounds. Actually, we're going to put that in right now. Because this is... I've never really heard of a Hunter deck without Unleash the Hounds. We'll take out one Iron for Grizzly. Or maybe we should take out multi-shot. Yeah, let's take out multi-shot and let's put that uh, iron fur back in here. Raging Worgen's good. In fact, let's see if we can fit that into our execution deck because it is just a 3-3 three, three for 3. But if this is out there and it gets... Oh wait, we don't even have enough Whirlwind in this deck yet. So never mind, not quite yet. Once we develop this deck more, then the Raging Worgen will come in. But, this Blood Cell Corsair, I'm going to keep it because we need all pirates to get that one legendary. And we're one pirate closer, so. I'm not actually sure if it counts if we disenchant it and get it back, but guys, I... <laughs> I can't, I can't stop. I need to open one more pack. I have to. 515 coins. I'm sticking there, but I want to get something good. We need something good. Epic. Okay, that's good. Common, rare, common, common. Spellbreaker. That's our second spellbreaker. Defies Ringleader is good in a rogue deck. I'm not too interested in no eye for an eye. I'm not too interested in that either. Our rare card is Savannah Hymene. Oh, that's so good for our Hunter deck. Oh, that is so good. And our epic card is going to be Shield Slam in our Warrior deck. Oh my gosh. That was a good pack. We needed both of those cards very badly. Shield Slam is definitely coming in here for Cleave. Wow, that is so good. We could disenchant it for 100, but I don't think that's worth it. Um... And what neutral card did we get? Oh yeah, we got another Spellbreaker. Which we don't need in this deck. We already have one. 
However, in this beast hunter, oh man, we're gonna take out one ogre for this savant, this juicy savannah hyamane. Summon two 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 hyenas as its death rattle. That is so good. Actually, no, we're gonna take the core hound. Uh, it sounds weird, but I'm gonna keep the core hound. I know it's not run in too many decks because it is very easy to kill, but it can be hard to deal with if I play with it right. Uh, I got a Defias Ringleader, I'll keep it. And an eye for an eye, I'll keep it, just because 5 de dust doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, but now that we've improved almost all of our decks, um, we're going to take this Beast Hunter out for a spin, because... Well, if we can win with it without Unleash the Hounds and Savannah High Main, I think we can kill with it with Savannah High Main and Unleash the Hounds. Savannah High Main is actually one of my favorite cards in the game. It's kind of essential in the Hunter deck that we have. But that first pack was absolute trash. The second pack was so good. It was so good. Still looking for our first Golden, though, and our first Legendary. We're going up against um, a Paladin in rank 23. So I think we should be able to win this. This is a great starting hand. I'll drop Stranglethorn Tiger, however. Animal Companion, even better. Sweet. We'll see what he does. Turn one, probably nothing. Nope. Uh, Timberwolf is interesting, but I'm just going to pass the turn here. I could have coined out the Bloodfin Raptor, but I don't really like that play too much. He'll probably, if he Silver Hand recruits here, I may uh, coin out the Animal Companion. Or maybe I'll just send out the Bloodfin Raptor. It's kind of a tough decision, but we'll see what he does here. We do have the the incredible combo: the Timberwolf, Unleash the Hound, Starving Buzzard. Uh, he just Silverhand recruited. So, and there's the Savannah High Main. Uh, I'm just gonna throw down Bloodfin Raptor here. If he buffs, if he buffs up the recruit to kill the Raptor, it's fine by me. Um, Aldor Peacekeeper. Okay. That's okay for him. Um, with three mana, we'll just drop an Animal Companion. And we got the 4-2 charge. Interesting. I'll use it to take out the Aldor Peacekeeper. Thank you. <clears throat> um, why did he say thank you? I don't understand. Timberwolf will bump up the Bloodfin Raptor's attack by one. We're also capable of doing this combo because we do have the coin, but it doesn't look like he's going to do anything. Um, wow, Pyromancer, okay. Well, with four mana, I don't really have a good play, so we might as well Starving Buzzard coin out Unleash the Hounds. Might as well. Not much else we could have done. We could have arcane shot the Wild Pyro and then traded here, but... Yeah, it's an okay play, but I don't like it too much. We will kill the Pyro and the Recruit. Why does he keep saying thank you? I don't understand. And if he doesn't kill my Buzzard, then Tundra Rhino will draw a card for me next turn. I think I'm playing it regardless though. It's a 2-5 with charge. True Silver Champion. Well, Tundra Rhino dodges it, because it, it does have 4 health. 5 health, sorry. True Silver Champion. That is a gold True Silver Champion though. That is a nice card. Wow. Okay. Um, and if Tundra Rhino stays alive, he's in trouble, because then Savannah High Main has charge. And that could... That could that could mean some real trouble for him. Avenging Wrath, he'll... Hopefully that doesn't kill the Rhino, and it won't. And he'll use his last durability to kill it? Okay. Avenging Wrath is a really good card. It's an epic card. Um, deal 8 damage randomly split among enemy characters. So that's... Really good in my opinion, but here I think we're just going to boulder... No, we're going to Savannah High Main. 
I would like to draw a Houndmaster if I can. Houndmaster is really good with Oasis Snapjaw because basically this would be a 4-9 with Taunt, which is absolutely crazy. Eldar Peacekeeper, that's annoying. But oh well, it's fine with me. It's not too much of a loss. Um, since he's still, he's not silenced or anything, so. Here, I think, if we arcane shot the Elder Peacekeeper, we can kill him, and the Savannah Hymen will actually stay alive. Then we'll have six mana. I think we would then just play Boulder Fist Ogre. Or, yeah, that's probably the best play. Arcane shot, do that. Yeah. We could have, like, always a snapdrop and hero powered, or we could have uh, tossed out any, th any three of these with Timberwolf. Maybe we should have Iron for Grizzly into Timberwolf into hero power. That might have been the best play. Uh, but we'll find out what he does here. Okay. And Hammer of Wrath. Does he have a second Hammer of Wrath? Yep. Both of them gold. No, only one gold. It is interesting though, like this guy has the normal card backs, but he's got a lot of gold cards. Um, but here with eight, I think what we do is Iron for Grizzly, Oasis Snapjot, and Timberwolf. And just start getting a big board presence. Corehound, if the Iron for Grizzly survives, Corehound is actually really good. Then he'd have to kill the taunt before he could kill the core hound. So then the core hound would possibly even survive. Consecration is pretty good for him, although it will spawn two hyenas, which is amazing for me. Oh, he's got another consecration. Double consecration. Well, the uh, waste of snapdraw will stay alive from it. But, and then there's the houndmaster. So. Oasis Snapjaw, we're going to Houndmaster the better one. But we've got a 4-9 Taunt on the board that he has to deal with. And then we also have Core Hound and Stormwind Champion in the hand, in hand for some extra damage. Put your faith in Tyrion Forgering. Holy cow. He has Tyrion. Divine Shield, Taunt, and as a Death Rattle, he equips a 5-3 weapon. Are you... S he has Tyrion? Oh my goodness. Okay, well I think we trade here. Oh my gosh. Then we Houndmaster again. Send two to the face. Kill Tyrion Forgering. He'll be able to kill the Oasis Snapjaw, though. And we'll start sending damage to the face. He's at 16 health. He's got a 5-3 weapon, though. Tyrion Forgering. He has Tyrion Forgering, but he has the regular card backs. He's going to change the health of all minions to 1 and kill it with the Silver Hand Recruit. That is so frustrating. How in the world did he have Tyrion? This does not look like a deck that he would have Tyrion. Well, he's got the Guardian of Kings, too, which will help him catch up in health. And this is not looking good for us right now. Timberwolf will allow us to do not that much. Well, we're going to send out Corehound because it's something. He's down to 12. Storm of Champions, okay. But, dang, he's... He's got a good deck. Big Game Hunter. Oh my, that's another epic card. He had Avenging Wrath. He's got Big Game Hunter. I think that's all the gas we have. True Silver Champion. He's going to kill the Ashbringer? Well, I guess it'll heal him for two. Probably what he wanted out of it. He'll send it to me directly. Well... We are in a difficult situation here, guys. Uh, this could be good. 
four two with charge, five two with charge. But if we do this, that pushes damage. We may be able to win, but I doubt it. No, he's got lethal. He's got at least fourteen on the board. We should have used the Timberwolf to kill the Guardian of Kings. That's what we should have done. But if he doesn't have lethal, I have a chance. I bet he does. Yeah, he's got lethal. He wouldn't be attacking me with all this if he didn't have it. Um, I have five health. He has a four attack weapon. How does he not have one damage? Still has his whole hand, all 10 mana. Abomination, no way. And he's gonna restore three health. Well, that's game. If that was deal damage to the hero, I could have won there. But, yep. That's game. That guy had a good deck. Tyrion Forgeron, wow. First time we've seen him. That's unfortunate. He's in the 23rd rank. How does he have Tyrion Forging? I guess he basically paid to win. But one more game and we'll have another 40 gold. As long as we can deal 18 damage to the next guy, which I think we can. I honestly still think this um, Beast Hunter deck is really, really good. We just came up short there against a great Tyrion Forging deck. Which is hard to come by, or hard to stop, with this warrior deck since we really don't have any silences or anything. Going up against a mage here, though. I don't like Stranglethorn Tiger this early, but Bloodfin Raptor and Kill Commander are okay. Houndmaster is okay as well. We've got the 2 3 4 play, but I don't think Bloodfin Raptor is going to survive. Uh, there's our silence that we could have used in the last game. Gosh dang it. Probably could have won. For Actually, we definitely could have won. Uh, but this guy's going to kind of rush down here. He's got probably one of the basic... This is probably one of the newer players. He's got the basic card back. Um, using arcane missiles on the first turn. I'm assuming this is just the basic deck. But we'll see. With two mana, he's just gonna fireball the uh, yep, fireball the raptor, and we got iron for grizzly. That's a perfect top deck. Since we didn't have anything else to play, that was good. Could have kill commanded, but that's a little too greedy for damage. Next turn, we can houndmaster either of these guys, but he may just choose to fireball him. Yep, is that it? What would be good here? I want an animal companion. Animal companion would be nice. Bloodfin Raptor, okay. You know what, I'm okay with that. Bloodfin Raptor and send two to the face. I like it better because um, giving the Iron for Grizzly plus two, plus two, and taunt is kind of, yeah, it's not useless, but I'd rather give it to, say, a Bloodfin Raptor. Um, okay, interesting. What could I do here? I could... I could kill command it, but that's not too good. If I Houndmaster, I still have to send both of these guys into him. And my guys would be frozen. So let's... Hmm. I think I'm going to kill command and send two to the face then. So, kill command, send two to the face, kill him with the Grizzly, and there. Well, we've gone down to 17. It may have been a bit our idea just to ignore him. Um, and either send 5 to the face with the... Okay, Mountain Giant. Wow. So no, never mind. This guy doesn't have a basic deck. <laughs> oh no. Well. We could give him plus 2, plus 2 and taunt. And send that damage to the face. 
And then, because we, we can't take care of the mountain giant right now, so we might as well just bring the pain to the face, bring him down to 10. We can kill him soon. We have another hound master and we have animal companion. So let's say if we get Huffer, that's six damage next turn. Because animal, it's four. He's a four two with charge and then we'll be able to give him plus two plus two. Violet teacher, this guy's got an interesting mage deck. He's gonna fire or a uh, frost bolt. Maybe. He's only ha he only has two mana. He's got to do something. Okay. And he's gonna frost bolt. Okay. So that'll clear my board. Let's see what we can do here. Arcane shot could be good. So if we unleash the hounds, that gets us three hounds. Then we can arcane shot the mountain giant and send one hound there. Or we could go more aggressive. We could get three damage from the hounds. Three, five. That leaves us with three mana. We could, we could bring him down to very, very low health, but is it worth it? Or should I go for clearing the board? That is the question. This is a tough one. Let's Animal Companion. See what we get. We get the 4-4 four, four with Taunt. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna send out Unleash the Hounds and we're gonna... We're gonna kill the Mountain Giant. And we'll send two to the face. I, I don't really care about this um, Violet Apprentice. We'll see if that bites me in the butt, but um, we do have Houndmaster, that'll bump up a Hound, that'll do some damage to his face. We also have our hero power, of course. If he does taunt, we can silence it. I think it's looking pretty good right now. It's pretty close, though. We're running out of gas, and if he has an answer, it doesn't look like he does. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have lethal. Okay, so there, that could be gain 8 armor. If it is, then that's a really good play from him. And he's got an Ice Lance. Okay. So he's not going to kill it, then. So he will kill it. No. Yes. This guy's confusing me. So he will kill it. So that Ice Lance was wasted. Um, but oh well. Let's send one hound to the face. See what it is. Ice Barrier. That's annoying. That is extremely annoying. Well, we'll send out Animal Companion. It's a 4-4. I say I kill the Violet Teacher. Send two to the face and save the Houndmaster for next turn. He's got 13 health. That ice barrier was good for him. That was really good for him. Caught him back in health. Or he, uh, he caught back up in health, I should say. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, that's annoying. That's not good. We are running out of gas. An explosive shot would be really good right now. He's gonna do it to me directly. Wow. That surprises me a lot that he didn't kill Misha. Uh, Timberwolf. That's actually gonna be pretty good here. Um, we'll be able to do this. And we'll, we'll send two to the face, and we might as well silence the spell damage, just so he can't do too much later. And that also puts another beast on the board. That can be good. And you know what, we'll, we'll bump... No, no, never mind. We'll save that for when it's like, a for sure, two damage. But he's got 11 health. He can kill Misha with everything on the board. If he's got a flame strike, that's really good. He may have just top-decked it. 
No, Sorcerer's Apprentice, but he still could have Flame Strike. Which is scary. Let's hope he doesn't. Spellbreaker? Is he going for... Rushdown? Is he trying to do damage to me directly? Because I still have 11 damage on board, plus 4. Technically, 4 in hand. Wow, is he really rushing me down? I have enough on board to kill him. Fireball. Okay, he's gonna kill Misha. That makes a lot of sense. And he's gonna kill everything on board. Oh, well, that was pretty good for him. Hellmaster isn't useful right here. Unless I draw an Oasis Snap Draw. That will slow him down an incredible amount because we now have a 4-9 on the board. He's used both of his uh, fireballs. He could still have a polymorph, but he could send everything he has, including his hero power, at okay, Arcane Explosion. And that's not going to work for you, man. He's gonna fire blast the hound. No, the so he's a snap draw. Okay, that's a good play. And then he'll kill the. He has to kill it, or else I have lethal. So this is close. Twenty health to nine health. Snipe. Ooh. Okay. The Dawn Mage isn't a threat, so he's probably thinking that's explosive trap, but. Unfortunately, it's snipe. Unfortunately for me. Arcane Missiles. Ooh, that's good. That's really good for him. Oh, jeez. This is close. Stormwind Champion. I may have him. I may have the win. I win next turn no matter what. Unless he has another Ice Block. Actually, no, Ice Block wouldn't even save him. Or, sorry, Ice Barrier. You shall not oh, Shield there. That's... Snipe is going to kill it. But it doesn't matter anyways, because the Hero Power ignores the taunts. And I win. Well wow. That was a crazy game. I was neck and neck the entire time. But we do get the win. We get our 10 gold, and we're level 12 with Hunter, and we get our 40 gold. I'm, no, it is so tempting to open up another pack, but I have to save money for Curse of Naxxramas. So, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're just getting to know this warrior deck, but... Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.